drop it. Action. Hello everyone, this is Miss Maria from Divan Squad. You know, I have shared so many projects about Divan uh, LCD display with the MCU microchip. And I, I have got some inquiries, uh, emails, also WhatsApp information about the details for the collections. So today I will share you all four projects for your reference. Hope this video will help you. Okay. Okay, this is my desk. You can see there is so many displays. Also, I, I bought so many Dubai wire for the collection. And also power and others. And adapter. This is quite normal for the adapter. USB to TTL RS232 RS458. This is my... I test the project each day. And this is my PC, my personal PC. And later I will show you how I create the project, how I write the Adulo uh, code. And here, this is the most important part for this today's video. And here you can see, this is the D1 display, the LCD, the touch panel, also the PCBA. This is the chip. This is the stereo port. Tamping is. TTL, uh, or, or TTL or RS232. Now it's RS232 because there is no short. And here, this is for the SD card. This is for our T5L series, seven inch. One, this is the resolution, yes. And here, oh, this is for the power. One for the LCD, five voltage, and this is for the Adula also five voltage. This this is the USB. This is a wire connect the Adula board to the to the PC. And later I will show you send a command use the uh, how to say debug assistance to to prove our protocol D1 protocol can operate the Adula also the display together. And here, this is the Adulo board, also another. And I have collect the, the pins. One is for the elective, one is for the positive. The, today's project is for the how do LCD display control the LED. Also, this is a little, it's a small adapter, USB power. Also, this is for the UIT TXRX. So later I will use this. All of this will be in my project. Okay, let's see the project. Okay, here is the display the software to project interface. I have prepared two pictures uh, named 0001. Here is the project. Let's say the D1 set folder. Here is the D1 set folder. Also, this is the project generated. Two pictures, BMP format. Let's see the resolution. The resolution is 1024 plus 600 bit, 24 bit. It shall be same as your display. And this is the font, font ID to show the data. 13, 14 is when you, when you have created the project, when you generate, uh, it will be generated automatically. 13 is for the touch module, 14 is for the show files, and 22 is used, used to store the initial, uh, initial values. And for the T5L series display, all the pictures shall be transferred to SL format, including the icons. So I prepared two. Here, this is the picture format setting, because ICL2, select the directory. Here you can select, for example, 48. Uh, okay. There are two pictures you can generate SL. This is how the way how pictures tend to SL. 
Okay, let's back to the main page. This is for return key value. This is for the touch control. I select return key code. Here, select data auto uploading, which means the data will be uploaded to the microchip directly. Here is the VP address. It's defined by yourself. So the scope for the VP address is 1000 to FFF. And this is the key value you want to upload to the MCU. You can set 1 or 0. So for LED controls, there are two status, power on or power off. So for on, I, the key value is 1. For power off, it's 0, same VP address. I also want, I also want to show the LED status in the display. So I use the variable icon. Here, the VP address is same as the return key code, which means it's in the whole system, it's in the integrated system. And icon file is generated by me 50. Here, there are two small pictures, one or zero or one, corresponding to two data, icon ID zero, icon ID one. This is for the filter set to ensure your icon looks more pretty. Save, generate. This is the display project part. You, you, you just only download the D1 set files, the whole files into the, this, into the screen via SD card. I, I already download to the screen before, so Let's skip this part. And at the same time, you should use the Adula to write the code for the program. This is the adapter. Adapter connect to the display screen part. And here, I, I had insert the Dubon wire into here. This is the TX2. This is the X2. So for the screen to the Adula, it should be your RT. So here. Here. Red is for the RX2, so RX2 shall be corresponding TX2. Here is the TX. And the black shall be RX. And the screen part. Here. And this two bar is for the power. One is for the GND, one is for the VCC, and this is for the VCC. VCC five here. And GND here. Where is the another one? Okay, the screen is part of also the Adulo. You can see the, the, the green art. Let's see, okay. On, red, off, off, on, off, on, off. So now I want to show you the, if the D1 protocol can uh, can send the command to the Adula or also to the screen. So let's use another wire for this.
before you use this, I need to pour out this because there is only one sterile port left. Okay, here. Here is the PC format for the software wheel part. As you can see before, the VP address is 1200. And if on, the value is 1. If off, the value is 0. And variable icon corresponding to the same status, still same VP address. So now it's off status. Let's say if I send the value 1, if the LED power on. Okay, let's see. Here, this is the D1 protocol. 5A85 is the frame head, fixed frame head. 60 is the total bias. 83 means read data. This is the same address as the project. One word means two bytes, two bytes, which means this means power on the LED and also same board rate, 115200. Okay, let's see what will happen. Send. LED power on. I change to zero. Oh, sorry. Zero, not 10. Power of one. Power on. Okay, this is the whole project. I want to I want to show to all of you. If you have any questions, you can contact me where the below <laughs> below contact information. That's all. Thank you.